rainy day by the seaside. Yeah, okay. I love the little fisherman's cottage. I think this is going to be quite titchy inside. Yeah, and the bunting is just adding to this charming coastal feel, isn't it? Shall we enjoy the view from somewhere warmer? I love the floor in this corridor. Mm, such a tinsy little hallway. Oh, this is lovely. What a big space. It's huge and so bright as well. You can tell immediately that this has been altered, can't you? The rooms wouldn't have been like this. You can see from the downstand that there's a beam in there, so there would have been a wall there. And you can tell also from the doorway that there's a long hall all the way through, so this has obviously been knocked through from one cottage into another, actually. I mean, what a view. I mean, that's, that's all the sea in that view, isn't it? <gasps> Beautiful. I don't think I needed to see that to know that the people that live here <laughs> love living here. <laughs> this feels like a room that has everything in it. It's got the kitchen and then the dining space, even the fireplace here. You could really oh. just live in this one room, couldn't oh, you? Oh, that would have been the fire in this room. Isn't that amazing? By knocking it through, they've created this brilliant multi-purpose family space. But also you get this incredible light by having a dual aspect, windows at both ends of the space. I'm also really surprised at how high the ceilings are. How fun that they've framed the window with these beautiful string lights. And I've just noticed over here the favourite spot. <laughs> of course it had to be here, didn't it? Such a fun room to be in. You can imagine sitting here around the table, socialising, and it's quite a versatile space because the kitchen is right there and it just feels perfect for a family and for socialising. And you can look out at your own private beach. I know, what a view. Look at that. Yeah, a much clearer idea of what these rooms would have actually been like, because that's where they always say the original wall was. It's tiny, isn't it? But cosy. Next door feels like a room for activities, doesn't it? It feels like you could be busy in there and have family time. But in here, it's more of a retreat, somewhere you'd sort of walk into and dim the lights and really relax in here. It's ideal on a kind of like blustery, cold day. You could just close all the doors and get this room lovely and warm and cosy. This is a much bigger room than the snug being used for the master bedroom. Sorry, I just have to take a moment to notice just how thick this wall is. It's fantastic. It gives you a wee threshold, actually, before you come into the bedroom. <laughs> it's like a room in itself. Yeah. I think it's really good that they've given themselves a really generous space for the master bedroom. The snug can be snug. It's only got to fit a sofa in. You know, this is like a king-size bed. And it's a luxury to be able to have that in a home this kind of proportion. What an amazing spot to spend the afternoon sitting in your garden, looking out at that beautiful cove. I don't think I'd ever get tired of looking at that view, would you? And what a way to spend an evening, just looking out, enjoying it, even going for a dip. Oh, <laughs> maybe not today, Kate. <laughs> I really like the way the spaces in this home interconnect and all the spaces communicate into this room. They've gone for quite a typical seaside palette. I might have put a little bit more edge into it. Well, I love a seaside theme, so I think I was always going to enjoy being in such a perfectly charming little home. And they took a lot of inspiration from the outside as well, with those pops of colours and there was lots of blues. They really enjoyed a feature wall in this home, which I always love to see. They had an interesting layout in terms of the snug and the master bedroom. I think I would have swapped them over and had one side of the home that was more for sleeping and another side that was for socialising and relaxing. If I had my way, I think I would argue that every single home should be built by the sea. Water is just such a calming element, and it flows through this building. It's really, really delightful kind of characters instilled into every room, actually. It clearly works for the family that are living here. You get the sense that it flows in the same way that the sea does. Mm -hmm.